this is Cat White, and in this video, users of Adobe Premiere Pro will learn how to use keyframes to control audio volume. As you can see, I am already in Premiere Pro, and I already have a project started. I have one image on my Video One track, I have a piece of music on Audio One, and I have a narration track, I have a spoken word track on Audio Two. What I would like to have happen is I would like to have the music play with understandable narration with music under it. Let me show you what this sounds like right now. I never saw a purple cow. I never hoped to see one. As you can see, it's very difficult to distinguish the voice from the music because everything is all at the same level and continues that way. And so what I need to do is I need to drop the level of the audio track, of the music audio, so I can concentrate on the voice track. And I'm going to do that by using keyframes. A keyframe is an old term that comes from back in the days of actual motion picture film when you had uh, many frames of film and at some point you would designate a keyframe. This is where something would start to happen. So for example, that would be the frame where you would start to zoom in or that would be the frame where you would start panning. So it would be the frame where a film would change. So there's a keyframe when something starts, there's a keyframe when something stops. We don't have film keyframes in this, but we do have digital keyframes, and that's how we're going to make our changes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set two frames, and I want to have the music track activated for this. And I'm going to pull my cursor, my vertical red line, to where the voice starts in the narration and I can see where the voice starts because I get the the visual print of the track and so at this point in the music I would like the music to be at its lowest point in preparation for the audio to start so I'm going to come over to the audio track menu and I'm going to click on this button which is activated when I activate the track and this is add a keyframe. That's going to place this diamond on the track. Now I'm going to back up my cursor so that I can set another keyframe and this will be where the volume starts to drop and I want this before the music of the main part of the song kicks in but after most of the introduction has played. So I'm going to click on another keyframe there. Okay, so now I have two keyframes. I want to set two more keyframes for at the end of the audio track, at the end of the narration, so that at the end of the narration the music comes back up to its original level and then at the very end I'm going to want to fade the music out. So at the end here I'm going to put in two more keyframes. Right about here I'm going to set a keyframe for the volume to start rising. Here I'm going to put in a keyframe for the volume to be at full level and at the very end of the clip I would like to have the music fade out as the image fades out at the end. So again, I'm going to place two keyframes at the end. There's one keyframe, and there's another keyframe at the very end. So the way that I control the volume in the middle here is the use of this yellow line. The yellow horizontal line is your volume level. And so I'm going to click on that between these first two sets of keyframes. I'm going to click on that in the middle and I'm going to bring the volume down low. There we go, right about there. So I have music behind the voice and let's take a listen and see how that sounds. I never saw a purple cow. 
I never hoped to see one. Okay, that's pretty good. I can adjust that volume level up and down more as I need to. I'm going to make one more adjustment here, and I'm going to lower the volume so the music fades out at the end, and I'm going to drag that all the way to the bottom. There we go. So now I should have my volume controlled for the length of the video. Let's watch. I never saw a purple cow, I never hoped to see one, but I can tell you anyhow, I'd rather see than be one. Okay, that's pretty good. And that's all there is to using keyframes to control volume in Adobe Premiere Pro.